Hello, I thought I would do a video now about the um, document spacing characteristics in Word. And Microsoft made some really weird choices about um, paragraph spacing. So I'm going to show you how to kind of deal with those and uh, what causes certain spacing anomalies to happen. So <clears throat> I created a new Word document and I've pasted in an excerpt from a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court from uh, Mark Twain and uh, this is set in single spacing with regular tabs for paragraphs okay so I've uh, tabbed over half an inch at the start of each paragraph okay but you'll notice something here even though this is single space I have this crazy extra space right here and right here for all the paragraphs and uh, this is one little trick I'll show you so that you can see every time enter was pressed you come right up here to this thing uh, which will show and hide your paragraph marks and anywhere you see one of these babies which by the way is called a pill crow anywhere where you see a pill crow that means enter has been pressed okay and you can turn it off and on and by default it will not print these even if you've got them showing if you print that won't show but you can see that I've only pressed enter one time and for whatever reason there's this crazy space. Well, I'll show you the reason. Okay. Um, and there's several ways to get to this to be able to see what's going on. Right. I'm old school, so my favorite way is to go right here. Okay. So let me highlight these two paragraphs here. I'm going to go right here to this dialog launcher for the paragraph settings. And right here is the culprit. Okay, you can see that the spacing after is set to eight point. Now what that means is uh, after a paragraph, there's going to be an eight point space when you hit enter. So I'll just set that down to zero and you can see in the little preview here what it does. And see it made that go away in the preview. And while I'm at it, the line spacing was not set exactly at one. That's another crazy thing that Microsoft has uh, kind of set as default that makes no sense to some of us. So I'll set it to single and everything will get a little closer together. Now watch real close when we hit OK. The spacing here will go away. And the spacing here will also go away. And now you can see that uh, even the lines got closer together because it's true single spaced. Okay, so now uh, you should be able to see that uh, the spacing after is zero. You see right here we've got this spacing um, and it's not set to zero. Okay, another trick if you want to select everything in a Word document you can press Control A on the keyboard at the same time and you can hit this little fly out and set the whole thing to zero PT and the whole thing to single space and there you go okay now uh, Sam may show you this method for changing things okay so you can set the line space and if we wanted it double spaced you go right here to this too it's the exact same thing as doing it this way um, and then you can uh, add space before or space after it'll give you a little preview and you go line spacing options it's the exact same thing as the little fly out I think Microsoft left this thing in here to appease old geezers like me that have been using word for quite some time and having it in that place okay so that's the deal with uh, the little extra spacing you see the spacing after so after you hit enter if spacing after is set to something besides zero you'll see extra amounts of space right here in between your paragraphs okay now something else I'll point out to you just so you know where it's at in case you ever need to change it if we go to page layout we have the margins okay we have the margins and um, you can hit the drop down by default it's set to one on all four sides and incidentally that's how most of your college papers will need to be set up now if you're doing a document on your own or a flyer you can go narrow and see the margin is the amount of space from the edge of the page to where the content starts in this case the text 
So that's narrow margins, moderate, and so on. If you go to custom margins, you can set it different on all four sides. Okay, so there you go. And I'm sure Sam will show you several methods to deal with this as well. But sometimes I think it's good just to see um, the ways that I deal with this stuff. And incidentally, your paragraph options also are on page layout. This is such an important thing that Microsoft has put it everywhere, which is not really a bad thing because if you can't control the space in your paragraphs, you can't do school papers and and have them look um, properly according to APA or MLA standards. So there you go. That's uh, something that will help you out on the Word Cumulative uh, project, which I will be posting very shortly. Have a good evening.